come on, you know I had to bring it back one more time, right? At least one more time. So if you guys have seen, <clears throat> excuse me, some of my duels on Kanye West 315's channel where I faced him, and if you checked out HB's channel, you might have seen me play the Thunder Family. Yes, I got the deck back once again. Been messing around with it, you know, seeing what I can do with it. Um, for the format, I don't know how good it'll be once Primal Origins comes out because all the bets are off. So, um, right now you're seeing me against like an Exodia deck, really bad one actually. I was just kind of showing off. I think like what cards I put in. Um, that's different about this version of this build. If you guys want a deck profile, just let me know in the description. I'll give you guys the deck profile sometime soon. Uh, I prefer a real life one, so it probably won't be a dev pro. That's why I didn't do it in this video. But, um, yeah, I really like this deck. Like I said, it's one of my favorite decks of all time. Um, the only thing is, nowadays, the extra deck is kind of expensive. Because 101 and Exton are, like, kind of mandatory to run. I mean, if you want to go at a 100% competitive level, like, I wouldn't go to an event without those two cards in my possession somehow, some way. So... Yeah, I make a light word of this Exodia deck, because obviously this is a bad Exodia deck. I mean, unless you're trying to OTK, I don't see an Exodia deck being that good. But that's just my personal opinion. Um, so, something I wanted to talk about on a more personal level. I feel like, lately I notice, I know this once every so often, that I'll have friends... I'm like really cool with it and they'll be really nice to me and they'll be nice to people around me and then as soon as I turn my back or you know I'm not in the room they're mean to people or just jerks and um, this happened to me recently uh, with a few friends of mine I'm not going to mention names because people like to talk but it's one of those he said she said things so like you can't really confront either person I mean I know who I do believe I do believe some person was just being rude I don't know, it's kind of one of those things that I'm not a big fan of. I mean, there's a difference between being two-faced and keeping your composure, I guess you could say. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. You just got to know who you can trust and who you can't and who's really this kind of person and who's not. Who's sincere and who's not. Easy to figure out if you're, especially at a age like myself around 25, you know, I can... I've known these things for years, you know, grew up young, all that good stuff. Anyways, yeah, why would this dude play infinite cards? I don't know, should have said that first turn, but it just don't make any sense to me. Like, is he really that hard-pressed? But, I don't know, Thunder Sea Horse is an amazing card. Everybody knows I don't like Upstar Goblin, but I'm playing it right now in this build. I'm trying it out. It's something new. I'm um, running two. I'm not running any Sis Hunters. So I gave up speed, no, I'm sorry, I gave up a little bit of advantage, hand advantage for speed, so I'm seeing how it's going to work out. Uh, these couple of duels, I'm going to be honest, they didn't really help me out in that aspect because they weren't against decks that were that great or people that were that great, so totally different. See, as you can see, there was no assists I could choose there, so I don't know. This format's going to be crazy coming up. Um, at first, like, I hated it, and the thought of it just got me mad. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with myself, but now I'm just kind of, like, depending on uh, if I go to events and locals and stuff, um, <clears throat> I might just have fun with it and not worry about a competitive scene, even though I really do want to play in nationals and stuff. So I might end up just going to nationals, and if I don't have my invite, but hopefully I will by then, but if I don't, then... You know, I'll try to get, like, a last-minute qualifier or some crap. But, anyways. Yeah, this is, like, my main deck that, you know, I'm kind of known for. Maybe on this channel, and maybe, well, definitely in real life at my local some. I had so much success with this deck. I've actually never taken it into an event, which is really surprising. I don't know. Um, I see its weaknesses more than a lot of other people. And this is a deck... <sighs> I hate when people say a deck, maybe such as this, is like autopilot or like anybody can play it. Anybody can play any deck, but they, not everybody can know the ins and outs and like 
the best plays and to win with a deck unless you play for with a long time and you just have an understanding. And this is one of those decks that you gotta have an understanding of what plays best and what's not. You know what I mean? Like I've never lost a mirror match with this deck. So plain and simple. But I'm not saying that would be cocky, I'm just saying that to be real that that goes for any deck. Like, there's people that, like, everyone has that one deck where you're like, you know what, I can play this deck better than anybody. You know what I mean? And this is the deck for me. Um, yeah, so I'm still playing this bum-ass Exodia player. I'm so bad. Um, let's see. Yeah, YCS Philly is something I'm really looking forward to coming up. Um, going with a few friends of mine, my friend Chris, um, my friends Aaron, Bailey, and Riley, it's going to be a good time. Um, it was great. Um, I actually, as you guys know, I finally got my internet back. I had to actually reinstall Windows on my computer because, like, I messed up doing an update or some crap like that, so. But now everything's all good, so I'm happy about that. Um, that's why you didn't see an intros. In the beginning, I gotta remake it and stuff like that because I had to wipe out my memory and system. <sighs> Black Horn of Heaven. This is a card I kind of want to talk about. Um, I listened to my friend Jack. Shout out to him because, you know, I asked him, should I main deck this card? Because you know I'm an old school player, so like to take out like D prisons and mirror forces is, is like kind of weird to me. You know, like I, I like traps, traps, traps. You know what I mean? Protection. You know what I mean? But, <clears throat> so, you know, I'm not running two Mirror Force, I'm not running Deep Prisons, so it feels a little weird to me right now, but maybe that's the best way to go about it. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, let's see. Um, in this match, oh, Dark Worlds. This is my least favorite deck to play against, probably. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I might not say that after Primal Origins, but anyway, so yeah, yeah, um... This Dark World player, either he drew bad or he just played bad or a combination of both. Um, he didn't really last very long in this uh, duel. But it is what it is. Oh, just kidding. This wasn't the Dark World one. <laughs> it was like a Chaos Dragon kind of thing, which I thought was weird. Um... This is I kept this in because I thought it was funny. He uses the Lord Darkness. He doesn't get a dark, so he just scoops. Which, uh, I don't know, I love when people do that. Because I'm just like, why would you... You know what I mean? Um, I thought it was a smart play this all morning. The card trooper. Now, you see two seven tools main deck here. I know that's kind of weird. Um, you may or may not have seen that recently. But I think it's good just because uh, I do see Girgia in my locals. I do see a lot of trap-heavy decks. And I consider it almost better than Trap Sun and stuff like that because, like my friend Jack told me, this was another thing he helped me out on. Um, it destroys the traps, like it gets rid of it, and you can't like chain to it. Like, say I attack with Starter Spark Dragon, and um, they activate Mirror Force. I chain seven tools. Um, <coughs> excuse me. They can't after chain like deep prison, you know what I mean? Because they already like activated something on attack their collation and stuff like that. So it's something you know that actually it did help a lot. And I used to consider it a, a truly a side deck card, but um, made dang it so far and it's been doing pretty good. So, and here's the dark road player, but. I don't know, it's just something to think about when he goes back to those friend things, you know what I mean? Like, not everybody's, you know, 100% honest with you, and that kind of sucks, but, you know, if you're 100% honest with yourself, and you try to be 100% honest with everybody else, you know, hopefully it gets repaid, in a sense. But, I don't know, I don't know. Um, I'm glad I'm back in full effect on my channel, and... You guys will see a lot of stuff from me. Um, I don't know if it's too late or not, but I might check out uh, Underworld 6667's uh, thing of like the next best Yugi tuber. I want to check that out. I finally got Wi-Fi so I can actually check it out. Like I heard about it, but I didn't see it because obviously I couldn't do anything. Um, my internet was limited or at all. So, yeah. 
Um, you guys will see uh, a lot of duels coming up too. Um, that's something I definitely want to get back on my channel because duels are, um, they, they not only help you guys, but they help me as well because I watch every single duel that I record, like after it's recorded, just so I can analyze plays and, you know, that's how I get better at the game is watching other people, especially other people that I know who are good at the game, so that's some advice I would give it to you guys. And this game is pretty much it. Almost over from here. I mean, he's at like uh, three cards to my five at this point. Um, <clears throat> after I kill the trans arch so it's not going to last very long. And I have the MST, so, you know, there's nothing really he could do at this point. Um, he could have did something different, I think. He could have definitely got rid of my spark dragon. He didn't know I had recycling batteries, I don't think so. But anyway, guys, um, I appreciate you guys for watching. This is One Anti-Hero, and stay tuned. I'll check you guys out later. See ya.